John Crike Felusi? Oh my god, this person sucks. Here are the reasons why I hate this person in my opinion 1. Just to get the cat out of the bag, he impenitently sexually harassed and groomed little girls. 2. He's difficult to work with, as he treated his co-workers and colleagues very badly, including famous voice actor Billy West, writer, director and co-creator of Ren and Stimpy Bob Camp, and background artist William Ray. 3. In the 1990s, he, under the pseudonym of Tom Payne, animator, and historian, wrote a hate review of Steven Spielberg's creation Animaniacs in the Wild Cartoon Kingdom magazine by calling it a godawful piece of trash and goes on to say a true moron fashion, this cartoon is obviously written by script writers who can't draw. More old jokes have done badly. Pies in the face. Seltzer bottles. Long outdated bits from vaudeville, this is the absolute worst of animation. It just makes you sick. It should be noted that he reviewed Animaniacs without even watching it first and that his creation Ren and Stimpy actually used just as much crude humor, if not more, than Animaniacs. 4. Ironically, Katie Rice, one of the women that he had abused, would go on to direct episodes of the 2020 reboot of Animaniacs. 5. He purposefully and wrongfully insulted criticized Tras McNee by saying that her voices are embarrassing to hear and that he likes to see the experience to the point of wanting to watch her own father get beaten up by a neighbor. So far, he never apologized to her for that either, indicating that he takes violence and abuse on other innocent people as a joke. 6. He coined the Cal Arts art style meme, which refers to character designs that have what viewers call the bean face or the inflated cheeks whereas he refers to characters that look the same. It's a terrible and nonsensical meme, to begin with since a lot of cartoon creators of shows with the supposed style didn't even go to Cal Arts, but John used it to diss the Iron Giant, which has been regarded as to be one of the most unique art styles in animation. 7. He had a dispute with South Park creators Matt Stone and Thray Parker over Mr. Hanky, a living turd who John claimed was a ripoff of his character Nutty which was obviously a pointless and nonsensical dispute due to the nature of Stone and Parker's character. 8. He overuses way too much shock humor in all of his shows, going as far as making an adult revival of Ren and Stimpy which received universal disdain and backlash from fans and critics and is known to be one of the worst cartoons ever made, not just the worst cartoon revivals ever made, though to be fair, it was mainly Spike's idea, not his. This actually killed any chance of Ren and Stimpy ever getting another revival until 2020. 9. His art style for all of his characters, save for Ren and Stimpy, in the 21st century, is often ugly and disturbing at times. 10. The female characters that he drew in skimpy clothing were underage. 11. The infamous Cans Without Labels Kickstarter campaign was a complete mess and its production took way too long being left in the works for seven whole years from 2012 to 2019 in the 2010s. What a train wreck! 12. On his apology for the sexual harassment allegations on Facebook in May 2018, he hypocritically blamed his bipolar disorder and poor impulse control for the damage done, though it shows that he never takes criticism or responsibility. Lesson everyone. Whenever you're thinking of an apology to everyone whom you've messed with very badly, apologize by admitting the mistakes you've made were all wrong to do, not by blaming a disability of your own as an excuse to escape trouble. 13. He has a very unhealthy obsession with cartoons from the 1960s and earlier. 14. His hatred of Disney is so high that he's willing to make corporate propaganda out of pure spite but yet he even hasn't realized that his favorite film series, the Toy Story series, is made in the hands of Pixar with Disney, showing another case of hypocrisy. 15. He also says stuff that is absolute nonsense, too. For example, he once compared Star Wars to Happy Days, which has absolutely nothing in common with Star Wars. 16. He also made the new adventures of Beanie and Cecil with weird, disturbing gross-out humor that ruined the show back in the late 1980s. In 17. After getting fired from Nickelodeon, he basically kept making repetitive adult content that eventually became extremely old.
and that's why I hate this person. I don't know who likes or hates this person, so I'm gonna leave it be. So screw John Craigfalusi. And screw Alex Kurtzman. Matt Groening is 644,773 times better than John Craigfalusi. End of rant. Oh, and before I end this video, I'm gonna make two final episodes as a bonus. Anyways, this is Peter on White He PlayStation and Xbox Fan, peace out.